Hey what's going on guys, Chris here, welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima build guide and in this video we are finally going over that Gosaku build that I've promised you guys a few days back. I know many of you have requested me to cover this but here it finally is, I think that now I fully perfected it and this is its best version that you're going to be able to play with. So this is going to be amazing at literally anything, be it mobbing, clearing out groups of enemies, be it small or large and even more so very good against boss enemies that you're definitely going to want to go ahead and fight with and yes this is going to cover everything and more so let's jump right into it and as always a thumbs up on this video would be super appreciated nonetheless this is the build right here I'm gonna press the expand details if you want to go ahead and like copy these down and get them as well there's a ton of guides out there on the internet on how to find many of these items but of course the centerpiece absolute centerpiece of this build is going to be that Gosaku R Armor. You get it sometimes in Act 2 from the Unbreakable Kosaku Mythical Quest. I'm not gonna cover that because there's many videos out there that do that, but we are going to definitely need that for one of its major perks. Well, actually, all of its perks are basically a huge bonus, but the one that adds a major increase to stagger damage is the most important over here because we're gonna be stacking a ton of stagger damage so that we can break off enemies' guards in no more than two hits. And for the bosses, it's going to be no more more than three hits and you can even upgrade to that and make it two but I'm gonna talk about that in just a little bit from here on it's just a matter of using the perfect charms for that so the first one and of course also important is going to be the charm of Susano and this is something that you get from the storm dragon shrine very early on in act one but I think you will need to have unlocked that grappling hook in order to reach some of the high spots over there otherwise this has a very cool effect on it and basically it makes it so that if you break enemies guards there's a 30% chance that those enemies are going to be knocked down which means they are also going to be opened up for instant assassinations now as it was obvious from my previous videos as well we are also going to be using the charms of fortune to further buff that up to at least 60% because both of these actually work together so one of them adds 50% and from my testing and my assumption is that both will work together to give a 100% bonus which would mean that instead of 30% chance to knock down enemies now the chance is 60% again I'm gonna need some more testing for that to come up with the numbers but it feels that I'm knocking them down way more often than not so there's that if you wanna you know just test it out for yourselves from this point on I've went with two charms of bludgeoning because you can get this actually really early on in the game and I found that these are the best solution for this kind of build if you want to go for pure stagger and when you're so sword is already upgraded enough that it deals enough damage. So basically you get this really early on, one of them is in Act 1 from a side mission called the Laughing Bandits, so you should be able to start this build quite early on in the game. And there's also another one in Act 2, the River Children, also a side tale that's very easy to complete, but personally I got the second one from one of Masako's tales towards the end of the quest line. So you can get I think 3 of maximum of these, which would make you really dumb right OP. For the rest of your options you can pick whatever you want to like a charm of Nigi Hayaki that um, deals moderate bonus damage while you are at full health and you definitely will be with this build since you will get a ton of healing from all of those stagger kills or something like Charm of Inari's Might if you've completed all of those Fox Dance, got this and fully upgraded as well. I've covered this in a previous video so I'm not gonna stay on this since that's been talked about in the past. But this is the build that works the best for me and this is how it basically works. Against most of the enemies out there, especially like the regular sized ones, you need only one hit with the triangle, of course in the appropriate stance, to fully break their guards. This means especially the ones with the swords like the two-handed or the ones that have one in each hand they break so easily only one hit and they are down and there's a very high chance that they also get knocked down which means as you can see they open up for assassinations and you can basically do this over and over again even against large groups of enemies it makes instant takedowns basically instant very easy and you can chain between these ones and you're basically kind of like an assassin but you don't need to use stealth in order to pull these off um, now as far as the other ones go there's a number of other enemies that might pose a threat like for example the ones with the spears they take about two hits before they break but they also open up for assassinations and 
and then there's also the big ones with shields and like with the cannons or axes they cannot be assassinated because you can't knock these ones down so the best way is to knock their defenses off and then just use a heavenly strike to also instantly finish them with that type of attack and it's definitely very fun to just jump into a large group of enemies do some triangle attacks switch to the proper stance deal a high amount of damage enough to knock them off their feet and then follow up with a quick square attack on the controller and they basically die in one shot and bonus points since you are assassinating them this also causes the other enemies to run in fear or at the very least get momentarily startled so that you have enough time to kind of plan out your next attack maybe even execute it since yeah you do have plenty of time for that and yeah there's no real disadvantage with this build you're not sacrificing damage you're not sacrificing survivability if anything you're most survivable with this build because you can also take down enemies after you stagger them which means that you're constantly getting those 20% heal ups and that's on top of the fact that you already have the resolve meter that works with that as well and you can also constantly heal with those too maybe the only disadvantage is against those ranged enemies or the bombers because they just die way too fast for you to even be able to stagger them but that's not really a downside since you are killing them in the end um, but we've talked about some of those boss fights and I did test some of the boss fights with an incomplete version version of this build that didn't even have most of these charms that I'm showing you right here yet it still absolutely destroyed the bosses and the reason for that is because a huge component for the boss fights is the fact that they have a much larger um, stagger meter than anything else in the game it usually takes several attacks compared to other enemies to break their guards but with this build it takes no more than three even when it's incomplete so if I had any bosses left I would be able to test this unfortunately I can't Hand, but if I were to do that it would probably take no more than two and if I added a third charm of bludgeoning I would probably get it in yeah those two maybe even one but otherwise it's self-explanatory the bosses die so easily just because you have these types of attacks right here so yeah this is it with the build if you want to go ahead and copy it go ahead and do so if you did manage to already play with something like this then let me know down below or if you have any other variations to it also let me know since i'm really curious what you guys came up with otherwise if you have other builds that you want to share definitely go ahead and tweet at me also follow me on twitter by the way i'm active there all the time and if you have any footage send it my way and I'm going to feature it in one of the next videos. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, also don't forget to subscribe and definitely activate the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of the content on this channel and I will see you guys in the next one, so peace out!